phone that is associated with you. Now there are some simple facts about mobile phones that many people don't understand. Every mobile phone carries within it its own unique serial number. That is a separate number to the number that is on the SIM card. It is not enough to simply change the SIM card for a mobile phone. Telecommunications companies will automatically pair the changed SIM cards with the same phone. Similarly, it is not enough to transfer a SIM card from one mobile phone to another. To have convenient mobile phone communications with people who are facilitating getting that information out or your lawyers, what you want is a prepaid disposable mobile phone. That means both the phone and the SIM are not traceable to you through any sort of payment records or registrations. They should be paid for in cash and preferably bought by someone else or bought secondhand. Now in some countries you have to provide ID to buy a mobile phone or SIM card. However, there are usually shops some Turkish shops or some other Chinese shops, little shops of importers, uh, typically ethnic importers, uh, who will not be engaged in that paperwork process. You can usually get an untraceable mobile phone in those locations. You can also order in SIMs from other countries or order in full phones. A good way to do that can be on an auction site that will send across a mobile phone and SIM secondhand from somewhere else that's already associated with a totally different identity. But when paying for mobile phones, SIMs, or sec secondhand orders, or postal information, you should be careful to not use your credit card or another sort of payment method that is associated with you. When you do find a good source of untraceable mobile phones and SIM cards get a whole lot but not all at once. Never use the mobile phone you are using to communicate with a journalist or a human rights lawyer or someone else who is getting your disclosure out to the public for anything else. Do not use it to call your mother, do not use it to call your children, do not use it to call your work, do not use it to call your home phone. Do not even try to carry it around at the same time as you're carrying around another mobile phone. Keep it off as often as possible. Try not to leave it on next to the house. If you want to establish contact conveniently, keep the phone off. When someone calls you, there will be a record kept on the mobile phone. When you turn it on, away from the house, you will see that someone tried to call you and you can then return their call. After you've finished speaking to them, turn it off again. It's important to remember that not only are the, the real risks of getting information out to the public much lower than people perceive, but also the opportunities are extraordinary. Sources that I have worked with who to this day remain anonymous have been involved in helping us bring down corrupt governments, expose billions of dollars worth of money laundering around the world, expose assassinations, and to, in the end, reform entire constitutions. Those sources, no doubt, are very proud to see the effects of their courage. And I have been proud uh, to work with them uh, in realizing that goal.